What's up, gang? Richie, Six String Fun, how are you doing? Look, we're going to get into something that, to me, looked good on paper to do. Whether or not this is going to work well, I don't know. We're, we're going to find out here. But we're going to dive into the Rush catalog off of the Grace Under Pressure album. And uh, we're going to take a look at the Enemy Within kind of arranged for the acoustic guitar. I, I was listening to it, and I felt, ah, you could probably strip it down. And actually, you know, on paper... I got you know I got my record charts here. Um, it works, and I've played along to it, and it's not terrible, but something different. So if you want to add a little rush to your, uh, you know, we're talking deep cuts. You know, this isn't the type of stuff you typically hear on the radio. So we're gonna go with the Enemy Within off of the Grace Under Pressure album from '84, and uh, we'll see how it sounds. So and I mean, we're kind of all over the place with some of these. I wouldn't say all over the place, but. I'm kind of taking some liberties as well with these chords just to kind of make it fit what we're doing here. So if it doesn't sound exact, that's probably why. But I'm going to have some fun with it. You know, there's nothing crazy as far as the chords, but, you know, you'll, I think it'll be recognizable. It should be anyway. So let's get into this one, The Enemy Within uh, from Rush. And again, if you haven't done so, please, you know, like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. Every time something new comes out, you'll get notified of uh, of the tunes so or the, or the lessons. So let's get into this one, The Enemy within all right gang let's get into this one the enemy within by rush for acoustic guitar arrangement this will be an interesting ride here i think it's doable i think you'll hear it i think it's just kind of fun to play um, if you're doing solo acoustic stuff I, I don't know if this is ideal for a set list but hey you know you've got that you never know that one time someone yells out hey play something by rush off the grace on their pressure up hey i got something for you so if you want to pause it, there's uh, my chord chart. If it makes any sense to you, it barely makes sense to me because I did it a couple days ago. We're going to see if this actually works. But if not, I gave it a try. So there, it, it comes in every, well, the band is on, on basically on one, right? Is that exact? No, because I know there's, I don't, I, can't, I don't even have the, uh, geez. And I don't even know the arpeggiated part. That's how, because I never got it deep into the song. That's why I'm doing acoustic. But I believe the chords that you're playing underneath some of that arpeggiated stuff is a B minor to a D to an E minor to an A sus4. You're going to play it again. B minor to a D. There's this funky E minor. So what I'm doing, it's still an E minor, I think. I'm going to go E minor, and you can just keep on that E minor if you like. But I'm bringing my ring finger down to that F sharp. That first string, second fret, to an A. So I'll put it all together, that first uh, two bars, whatever it is. Or the first two measures, I guess. Repeat, sort of. And I screwed it up right. So let's try it again. From the top. Repeat it. All right. So that's kind of how that goes. Uh, and then we're going to kind of get into that, that, that rhythm. All that is is B minor. G and A. If you've seen the video um, from Toronto 84, I guess it's, the, it's like the official Grace Under Pressure release. Um, I know it's, 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 it came in at one point, it was Rush replay times three or something like that. I don't know. But you could see Lifeson playing the, the bar chord. And it's a B minor here to the G, third fret. A of the 5th fret, and then get that B minors on the 7th fret. But we're keeping it kind of acoustic here, so we're going to just keep it up here in these positions. So I'm not going to sing the whole thing because I'm not Getty Lee and I can't hit that register. So uh, I can't hit any register. But B minor... To the G, to the A. For the most part, that's your, your verse. So it's a B minor. And I'm playing more like a G5. 
So I'm catching that bass line right there, that bass note. And I'm just giving a quick bar chord. So I'm not really playing full chords there. And you can hear me kind of getting some percussion in tune. And then you throw the chords in there. That could be the toughest part of the song if, not, if you're not really into that, but it does give it the, the movement that you need, okay? So that's the verse. The chorus, similar chords, we're going to go to a B minor. And you hold that B minor for like a bar and a half. So um, I'm not giving you. to B minor to the D now I bar this A chord here because I have to then catch the C sharp on the fifth fret of the fourth string I, the only way I can do it is if I sing it so bear with me I'm not giving it and then again I got the timing wrong but that's those are the chords Experience to extremes, that part, you go back to the B minor, G and A. Watch your dynamics, so change it up just to kind of make it sound like it's bigger than it really is. And if you're comfortable with the bar chords, you know, play up here, play some of the, the fills up here. All right, but that's kind of what we're looking at here. So we go back into... Um, the verse, we got the chorus again, and then we're gonna go into the bridge, if you wanna call it that, maybe just a breakdown, and it's the same progression we had in the intro. To you, is it movement or is it action? Is it contact, just reaction and resistance? Uh, yeah, I, I keep getting missing that D chord, Let's try it again, but the, that, that's the bridge. To you, Gonna continue right a little more to get to go on through the distance and then i'm not and the course is going to kind of take it out but uh and then the uh the outro itself as we're you know hey 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 That's how you take it out, and then you can it, look if you're really gonna play this live, kind of just find what works for you and make it happen. But those are the chords for this tune. I hope it helped you out because this is really a stretch, I think. You know, when you look at some of the, the rush tunes out there and try to break this down on the acoustic guitar. Again, don't know if it's really ideal for like jamming, but if you got a backyard barbecue and you got some rush folks and you you, you play this one you're gonna make some friends quick especially if you got a tip jar there i think so these are the, the, the basic chords really i'm just stripping it down i'm just taking the basic elements of this tune and we're just writing it out so there's no keyboard there's no um solos timing is what you make of it because you're on the acoustic guitar you make it whatever you want you don't have to worry about um you know the drummer and the beat you're, you're doing this on your own so but i do think it'd be a great idea if you kind of just throw in some of that 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 the strumming pattern you know the muting of the strings So make it your own, but I think it's fun. I had a good time doing this. So hopefully you dug it. See you guys on the next video. Take care.